Dr. Sukas, do you have any specific tips for if it's an emergency medication like epinephrine, where somebody else might be administering it for you versus maybe something like an asthma biologic that's used for maintenance or control? That's a great question. I appreciate you bringing that up. So when we talk about the, the maintenance medications, these are things that you're going to be receiving consistently, regardless of how you feel. So it, as we talked about, practice, 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 and it's going to be a, a much more controlled environment. So hopefully, you know, you're not giving yourself or somebody else isn't giving you your biologic at work or, you know, when you're at a restaurant or anything like that. Uh, so it should be in a very controlled setting. And hopefully over time, you get very used to it. Uh, however, when it comes to epinephrine, you know, well, thankfully, most people who are prescribed an epinephrine auto injector never need to use it. It's there as a back up and, and we hope you don't need to use it, but accidents do occur and allergic reactions certainly can occur. Um, so being ready for that, uh, which is not always at an opportune time. Oftentimes you're not inside your home. Uh, you may be at a restaurant, you may be at work, you may be traveling or things like that. So communicating with those that those people that you are in your inner circle and letting them know, you know, this is my medication. This is when I'm supposed to use it. This is how I'm supposed to use it. For all of you, yourself included, practice with the training device. There's different devices that are available for epinephrine. Sometimes the pharmacy just Dispense is one that, you know, a different one that was prescribed. And these devices can be slightly different in, in the technique and things like that. So use the trainer and practice with it on a consistent basis. And then the most important thing is, you know, it's not going to work very well if you don't have it with you. So finding a way to make sure that you have your epinephrine with you on a regular basis, uh, which is very different than these maintenance biologics, because that one you can store in a safe place and just use it, you know, once every two to four weeks whenever it's prescribed. Epinephrine, you have to find a way to sort of hack your own system and make sure that it's always there with you, especially when you're outside the home, particularly if you have something like food allergies where you may accidentally eat what you're allergic to. So having it with you at restaurants and at social gatherings and parties and things like that. So yeah, it really is just kind of reminding you, you know, finding a way to kind of get that reminder system in place and then practicing with the technique just in case you have to use it. That's awesome. Thanks so much for these tips.